known to aggravate it, but still you would think you like... You wouldn't give somebody that's having a digestive disorder, yeah. like any kind of food. Truthfully, I don't think you should, I don't think you should intervene with food. Right. Because it's after, you know, yeah. like let them do what they need to do. Right. I would go and buy her like hand lotion, you know, like lotion yeah, yeah. or something. I brought her like lip glosses or something fun that she makes her feel like pretty yeah. she's sitting in the hospital. So how long did she stay? No, 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 I just yeah. didn't know if, um, like, yeah, she was sick before if she was time. better, like, if there was some stress component, or, like, you know oh, what I mean? Think, I think that's part of it, too. Like, I didn't know if, like, maybe if she was married, it was actually better, because she was, like, maybe having some, some work. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I Or maybe she was worse, because she was... No, she, she had a couple of bouts. I think it's just her disease. That's what it was. Mm. She's in the hospital. Crohn's is worse than colitis. She could get over it. Yeah, for sure. That's why my that's why my uncle died. That's why I quit food was said, you know, not like that long. So how old is he? Seventy. So he has a bad hip. Oh, sometimes it means it's hard to stand down and it's hard to small down. I mean he had it removed when he was seventy. Oh, but now they, they create do a they, yeah, they kinda of created a large bowel out of the small intestine. Mm. So the guy Brad I mean, I had symptoms, like, probably all my life, and I had no idea, yeah. you know? Like, I mean, I remember in college, I would go to, um, like, Arigato, which is, like, a Benny Hanna type place, yeah. and we'd stay in, like, a half hour, and I'd always be, like, I think it was like, and, like, I always thought it was funny, but still, it's just a dream. So what I would do, and this is awful, but we would go to Arigato, my one friend and I, and then we would go, and we knew we were going to have to wait for the Krispy Kreme, because we had the first Krispy Kreme right there. I'm like, it's going to go right through it. Like, I think she also had gluten intolerance. Like, she, had, she thought she had celiac disease forever, like, before it was popular. Like, she, in college, was like, I have celiac disease. So, like, even though she didn't actually have it, yeah. and she, like, it was actually funny, like, when it started to become, like, a well-known thing, I sent her a note, and she was like, oh, what? Like, funny enough, I actually don't have it. And we were like, and, like, I was like, yeah, I know. Like, she, she like, completely had it. You know, like to make things more difficult and to make like it yeah. was weird. So anyway, um, but she also was like rushed to the bathroom. So it would be like our own and like get rid of it anyway. <laughs> I just walked her a donut in the face. You know? Like <laughs> so, like run over to Krispy Kreme, have like a hot donut. <laughs> But I didn't really, I didn't get diagnosed until I was like 28. Yeah, I know. Because, because I didn't actually go to like multiple. That's when I like, first saw it. I said it for like. Because I was having these like extreme hunger pains. Like it would feel like my stomach, like I would eat and I would feel like my stomach was so empty. And then it would make me feel like my stomach was so sensitive. Like it would, like it would be a pain.
towards the end of stuff and, and us being able to actually do what we perform, like the Rio by your observation, but it's just happening in Nas Canoe, but I think he's got like a goal on us, like maybe I might need somebody else, so I think like that would be what it needs to be. Um, and so I decided to do it, and I didn't expect, we didn't expect them to kind of support each other, which is like, So then I ended up going to your other guy. I like him a lot because he was very funny. He's, yeah, he's really, he's not um, like Mr. Like Personality, but no. he's like really. And he like, was like, just like very straight up. Like I remember him saying something and it was like, he just told me like the straight truth and it wasn't like fake, like it wasn't no. like in a nice way. And I was like, oh. Hmm. He's awesome. Oh, I think it was about like gaining weight. Uh, is it going to come off easily or something? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, hey! <laughs> well, at least I know the answer. Uh -huh. So he's not in my territory now, and mm. um, our Miami rep keeps on giving me shit to him. And I'm like, I love that office. I'm more than happy to take it. I think, mm. I think he's a good doctor. Like, yeah. it's falling out of the thing. And um, so she's like, you can have him. And I said, well, only if I lose my old friend. Because I'm like, you're tied with Frank. And really, the rep, I'm like, you tell him. You tell Frank. Who's this? Uh, Marianne, what Miami rep. She's a oh, rep. Miami. She's a rep. Is it this place here? Yeah, yeah, you want? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, right, okay. That's uh, sixteen ninety, please. Sorry, it's thirteen pounds sixty. Yeah. Um, no, that's without the waiting time. That's the base fare. Mean, that's. It was at seven oh five. It was seven oh five. The booking. And yeah. We were out at seven oh nine, and we were just waiting for you to come up to actual place. Yeah. Uh, well, the the XDA knows exactly what's going on. No, it's just calculated I'm, the fare yeah, no, accordingly. I'm not, I'm not paying that. We. The fact that you weren't outside my building, I shouldn't get penalized for. Well, I parked as near as I could. You must have had that before, surely. No, there was a like, like spot in front of me. Every, well, every Addison Lee driver parks right in front of my building. Okay. Just give me 15 back. I mean, five back. Five back. It's the other side, Jim. Well, I must insist that I've got to take the correct style. I mean, it's showing here on the screen. If you've got any query with it, just speak to Addison Lee. But you can see, you know, that What time does it say that we left? Um, hold on a second, I'll tell you. Because I can tell you what time I called you. Oh, well, I can tell you that. That's on, that's on here. Uh, let's just have a look. Because it's all done automatically now, you see. It's not... You probably never had that before. Uh, Eleven minutes past seven, you called me. There's the, t the time on my screen there. Yeah? So I was two minutes. I was one minute past because you get five minutes free, and you're telling me that's three pounds. It's what happens is the whole the whole lot is chargeable. You don't get any no, waiting not, time free. I'm not paying it. Well, you don't get any waiting time free. Um, but for a it, minute, you're telling me that it's no, 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 extra. no, 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 no. But no, you're what? saying that a, the minute it ticks over five minutes. That's correct. Then the whole lot is chargeable. At what rate? Um, I think it's about twenty pounds an hour, something like that, or pro rata, you know. I mean, the XDA calculates it all now. Dude, I was waiting for you to pull up. That's like ridiculous. Well, I was just literally across the road. No, wasn't every I? Addison Lee park driver parks right in front of me. Well, I've never there had is, a problem with someone. There, there was there a is, big there is, spot. There is restricted parking. No, there. it's not there. It's I've, not restricted. 
Well, it looked like it looked pretty restricted. I guarantee you it's not restricted. Anyway, look, if you've got any query, take it up with uh, Addison Lee. Ridiculous. But there's your, there's your change. I mean, that's absolutely ridiculous that you guys do that. Uh, don't get out just yet. Um, do you want to get out that side? It's probably safer for you. Okay, you all right? Hello. So this is Andy. Um, are you still nearby? Because my gloves are in your car. Um, I'm not. No, I have another job to go to. Uh, unfortunately, I'm in um, Gooch Gooch Street at the moment. Um, okay, well, what what I what I do is I'll I'll, I'll I'll have a look for them. Uh, you left them on the back seat, did you? Sorry, if you just turn, like if you're in Gooch Street, you can just turn slightly, and I'll come meet you, and I'll grab. Um, unfortunately, I have another job to go to, which I've only got four minutes on to get to. You know, otherwise I'd say yes, but uh, you know. I, I mean, that's that's absolutely ridiculous. Like you can't be far away. We just got me off two minutes ago. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and I'm I'm in Goode Street by the old hospital. Um, but, but you know, I'm going to be late on the next job if I um, if I come back to you. Um, but what I can do with them is when I when I find them. Um, I will drop them into the office at Addison Lee and you can collect them at your convenience, yeah? Where's the office at Addison Lee? Uh, it's 35 to 37 William Road. It's it's only about a mile away from where you are. Where I am right now? Yes, that's correct, yeah. Okay, that's ridiculous. I'm not such a big complaint if you don't tell me where you are so I can go get them. Um, <laughs> I'm now in Cavendish Square. Um, so, I mean, you know... I, I thought you wouldn't, like, turn down the street. It's ridiculous. Well, I, I, can't, I can't turn around to go to you to, to delay my next job. If I didn't have another job, I'd be quite happy to come back to you and give them to you, you know. But I, I somehow doubt that. No, no, seriously, I would. I, I think this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm... I will certainly be calling out as some leader complain because that is just not the way to have customer service at all. Well, I'm sure you wouldn't be saying that if you were the customer waiting for me in Cavendish Square. Um, I think that you waiting two extra minutes for me to meet you, I think I would be okay with that. Considering you guys always arrive early, I think I would be fine with just arriving three minutes early instead of five. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll just call, find out your manager, I'll explain the situation, I'm sure they'll understand that it's absolutely ridiculous that yeah. you turn around. So that's perfectly fine if that's the way you want to play it, but you could have actually made it super easy and you chose not to. Well, so that's on you, but I'll definitely be calling and claiming. So okay. thank you very much. I've but lost my leather glove now. Well, no, you haven't uh, lost. You haven't lost them. I will deliver them to the lost property office at Addison Lee before the end of my shift. Okay, that's fantastic. But I have to then. I live nowhere near their office, which means that I will have to find a way to get there. I'm not going to be here tomorrow, which means I actually won't be able to get them until I go back. Get back to London in a couple of weeks. So essentially, I don't have them. Um, and you were being entirely inflexible. So that's ridiculous.